FlexSeal has been a leading manufacturer of residential and recreational vehicle seating since they banned production in 1901. They produce upholstered rocker recliner chairs, love seats, pedestal seats, acute care medical seats, and all of Disney Cruise Line's in-suite sofa beds. FlexSteel made a name for themselves when they created the revolutionary Blue Steel Spring. This spring uses strip steel instead of coil springs for a more comfortable, durable product. FlexSteel has a wide variety of opportunities in their current state that the Iowa State team was able to improve upon. Current state, the Dubuque facility is approximately 720,000 square foot. Of this space, only about 380,000 square foot is being utilized in their operation. This is due to their facility's deteriorating state, which compromises about 47% of the facility's blueprint. Along with this, FlexSteel has a job shop production layout in their metals manufacturing area. This means they have separate functional spaces, including areas like weld, press, and rivet. In this production area, they manufacture parts in batch sizes of up to 1,000 parts at a time. This creates a variety of non-value-added touches and material handling distances between the functional spaces, along with a large work-in-process storage of parts and a buildup of unneeded inventory. This is $800,000 worth of whip. Next, we're going to move on to the methodology. Now, this project can be split up into two parts, the first of which being the redesigned metals manufacturing cell and then the macro plant layout. For the metal cell, we began by dividing up all of FlexSteel's current product offering into eight product families grouped together by similar product type. These eight families were then placed into five separate cells based on similar manufacturing requirements, and the new metal cell was created so product can flow through one of these five cells as opposed to the previous job shop format. Regarding the macro plant layout, we began by identifying all of the key activity areas in the plant and then prioritized which areas should be close to each other and which should be very far apart. We then assigned the necessary spaces to each of these areas and created a final plant layout based on the prioritized areas and information given to us by FlexSteel. By building a new facility, moving to a cellular layout, and moving to smaller batch sizes, FlexSteel will have the financial benefits of a first year cost realization of $3.2 million and annual savings of $672,000. The first year cost realization of about $3.2 million is achieved through the reduction of space requirements for the new facility and the reduction in inventory holding needs. The annual savings of about $672,000 is achieved through labor restructuring and the elimination of obsolescent events. The most important results of the project are responsiveness and the transformational change. In the current state, the earliest customers could receive their order is 36 days after placing. Lengthy lead times make building to order difficult and customers are more likely to buy from other manufacturers who can meet tighter deadlines. However, in the future state, by decreasing the metal shop lead time from 21 days to 5 days, customers will only need to wait 20 days. This reduction in lead time makes FlexSteel more responsive and makes them therefore more competitive in their industry.